guys. <clears throat> it's just Larry. How's it, how's it going out there? Early morning, Larry. I'm always cold when I wake up in the morning, so I've got sweaters and hats on and things. And, uh, you know, my kids always make fun of me. They always say, like, God, Dad, it's not even cold in here. And I'm like, you guys are walking around with no shirts on, fresh out of bed. I don't know how they do it. I'm always cold. Kind of could have terrible circulation because I'm old. But I hope everybody's great. Really, truly, I hope everybody's great. Um, the plaque showed up. We, you know, what's really funny. This is this is a. When I took the Marshall fishing yesterday, we were riding in the car, and and I, I looked in. I showed, look in the back seat. I had I had the thing back there, the package. I go, Marshall. The plaque showed up, and he was like, "Really? Let's open it, Dad." And he he opened it, and uh, it was a mo it was a more emotional moment than I than I thought it was going to be. I was not expecting it to get all choked up, but he was so cool. He was like, "This is great, Dad." He was, "I'm going to get one of these when I grow up," and I was just like, "Oh, buddy, I know you will." Oh man, got me all choked up. He's such a good kid. Damn. Mm. So anyway, I uh, hope everybody's having a great, uh, what is this, a Eclipse Monday. Can you believe it? Uh, I don't know shit about the Eclipse, to be honest. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to see it where I live in Nashville. I don't even know what time of day it's supposed to happen. All I know is I'm not working today, which is rare. and uh, So that's cool. I'm supposed to meet up with a dear homeschooler um he's got a great old amp that he's gonna uh sail to old larry old tweed deluxe we finally found one a guy named ron Rayson, who is who is a sweet sweet guy he lives in knoxville uh he sends up uh, old baseball cards football cards what a sweetheart cool chords in this song the new black keys song on the game so, another funny kid story so uh, we're sitting there at the kitchen table a couple nights ago. And I said, boys, did you see uh, uh, your old dad played on the new uh, Black Keys song? Got written up in the old uh, article. Sweet, sweet Dan said some nice things about me. What a sweet guy. And, I, and I, it means a lot because it's very difficult for someone from Akron to be sweet. And uh, I realized how hard that must have been for him. So, uh, you know, that Rust Belt thing, it's really tough love, you know. It's hard to be, to be sweet, uh, but, but, you know, he's a good guy, man. And uh, we're sitting here, and I said, I said, Leo, check this out, and I played him a song. You know, that's your dad playing that slide part in the solo, and he goes, oh, man. He goes, they play that at PE, at school. They listen to it in school, and it's like, how cool is that, man? You know... Uh, that's when you know you made it when you're playing on a song that that your kids are listening to in school. I've never had that before. Well, I, maybe I've had that, but let's let's get into some hot VCB. Oh, here's an old cool guitar. Check this out. Um, this is a '63 Southern Jumbo. I just bought this from Elliot. Uh, man, just a run of the mill. They made about 80 million of these. They're not rare. Um, but I really like this one. Uh, I picked it up, played it for two seconds. I was like, wow. Yeah, you know, you're... You know what's funny? I said I, I texted a picture of this to Greg Worrell, so I said I bought this today from Elliot, running the mill, sixty-three SJ. Did you ever buy? Have you ever bought a guitar? You feel like you you've owned it forever. That's kind of how this thing was. I I bought this and I felt like I've, I've I feel like I've owned this for twenty-five years. It's like it's so natural. Like I I know this guitar. Like uh, this is you, you got to have one good beater Gibson acoustic to to plunk around on. That's the thing. 
especially if you live in Nashville. It's just, it's an absolute must. You gotta have, and not too expensive, but but cool old Gibson pre sixty five because you got you want you don't want that skinny neck. So to just hang around and, and, and talk songs on with your buddies, you know, show up at a session, figure out songs. You got to be holding an old Gibson like this. Okay, so should we play C there or D? Hmm, let me see. Me, I'll go to my old Gibson and see. So that's how you work out stuff. You get in the control room. Everybody, you know, the songwriter guy. Whoa, 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 okay. Plays it for a minute, and then you grab the guitar. What if we try this? You know, okay, great. That's great, Larry. They say things like that. That's great, Larry. Let's try that, Larry. They'll say things like that. Um, but yeah, so you gotta have an old Gibson plunker for that. Um, nothing too precious, because you want it, it gets thrown around a lot. You know, leaned up against couches, things like that. Um, the deader the strings, the better. That type of thing. Um, let's see. Did, let me look at some VCB here. Uh, this is going to be a quick video. I'm not going to get too crazy today. Um, there was a couple people that 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 sort of seemed... No see, friends. See, so well, I'm sure. Let me turn that down. A couple people said that they don't they didn't like the way I handled the the, the booze guy. And you know, look. I, all right, I get that. Uh, I wasn't mean to the guy. I didn't say anything mean. Uh, I held back from what I wanted to say. So that's good. But but look, a guy even went out of, went out of his way to email me about it. And I, and I said to him, I said, look, man, look, okay, great. I see what you're saying. But I handled that situation the way I handle every other situation in my life. Which means I think to myself, anytime I see some, if someone says or does something that I would never do in a million years. I have to call bullshit on it. Okay, look. Let's just say I should say something negative. There, if somebody if somebody says or does something negative that I would never do in a million years, I have to call bullshit. Lots of people do positive things that I would never do, like get up on a table and dance. You know, I would never do that, but that's not bad. But I'm talking about something negative, like say or do something see i would never send a comment to another guy's youtube channel asking him to change the way he does something to fit my needs okay um i like i said i responded to one guy i said you know i would just love to feel what that feels like for 15 minutes to feel to feel the feeling of thinking that your opinion was that important god that must be an awesome feeling because uh, I would love to just see what that feels like, just because I've always been of the belief that my opinion means nothing. So, uh, but look, I mean, I'm not saying the guy's a dick or anything. He's just a guy who's just struggling with demons like like everyone, like me. But uh, you can't expect the world to conform to what you need. You just can't do that. You can't do that in restaurants. You can't. You, you know, you got to keep it cool, man. You just, just, we're all fighting our own little battles, man. Everyone's got stories. Everyone watching this channel and the guy making the video, we've all got pain in our lives and stuff that we're dealing with. We just can't go around asking everyone else to conform to what we need. It's just not the way the world works. I'm sorry. So I tried not to be mean, and I don't think I was mean. I'm just saying I'm not changing anything to fit some guy's needs, okay? Because he wouldn't change anything to fit my needs. So, there you go. Uh, I, I, know, I tried to be, you know, cool. I wasn't, you know, saying the guy's a dick or anything. He's, he's not a dick. He's cool. You know, but, uh, so there's that. There's all that. And then there's, and then there's people said, did you see what happened with your buddy Morgan Wallen? All right. <laughs> you know, uh, he threw a chair off a building last night downtown and almost bonked a couple of police officers, which is not funny. That is not funny. I am not saying that that's funny. Uh, it's it's fucked up, but uh, it's the kind of shit that Waylon and fucking Johnny Paycheck did on every Tuesday night. 
uh, all the people that you know were uh, the 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 original pioneers of country music would do shit way crazier than that. But we live in a world now where you can't get away with any of that shit. I get it. I get it. Don't don't come after me. I'm not saying it's right. Okay. So I just need to talk to him and just say, bro, uh, you need some partying lessons with Uncle Larry. You know, he's young. He's 30 years old, for Christ's sakes. You should have seen the shit I was doing when I was 30. I was just an idiot. I still am. Nothing's changed. Uh, but, man, yeah, you know, people are crazy. Like Guthrie always says, people are crazier than anybody. That's one of Guthrie's favorite quotes. Um, yeah, he needs some partying lessons. I'll, I'll, I'll fix him up. Don't worry. Uh, I know people, you know, he's a good guy. I know, I, I'm, I know you guys are, a lot of people hate it when I say that, but I know the kid. He's a great kid. He really is a sweet soul. And you go ahead, attack me. Well, then why did he do this, Larry? Why did he do that? Oh, come on now. I'm just glad nobody got hurt. That would have been fucked up. I apologize. Uh, I apologize if I'm coming across light on this. I'm not. It's serious business. You can't throw chairs off buildings. You can't throw glasses off buildings or bottles. You can't do that, people. It's not cool. So then what are you saying, Larry? Boy, I don't know. It's pretty early. I don't know. Uh, lots of chatter about the uh, the video yesterday with all the... Um, uh, Les Pauls, you know, great. I just did that because what a rare moment to have all those instruments, uh, you know, in one place, you know, where you can really hem and haw, as they say in the South, about which one's better or worse. I'd say it is funny, only three people out of all the people that watched that video got the order right. It goes to show you that, that we do all listen with our eyes. Every, you know, everyone was so sure that this one's better than this one when they could see it. But when you when you can't see it, is it really? Are we really so sure? Are we? I'm not that great at it. I, I probably couldn't pick those guitars out in the lineup. Um, one thing that is interesting is a lot of people said, "Well, yeah, Larry, what, but what about when you play them? Which one do you like the best?" I gotta say, uh, they all feel amazing because I've you know the, the 59 is not mine. Uh, I would tweak it a little bit if it was mine. The strings are pretty dead on that guitar. It needs a little bit of setup. But man, it's a killer guitar. But you can't fuck with another man's guitar. You can't change anything. But the way they all currently sit, I think the Burst probably is the best playing one of all of them because it's got a great fret job. The 59, the 57 Goldie needs some frets. Um, I've been chatting with uh, uh, Greg Boris. He, I said, man, can you, can you just refret one more guitar? I would love to have him do that. That would be so special to me. If, you know, he's not really working on guitars anymore, but if, if he could just do that one more guitar, I would be so thrilled. It'd be such an honor. And he, he's trying to pull that together. And I think it would be amazing, man, to have him, because it needs some frets. It plays good, but the frets are kind of, it's, it's not the best fret job. It's, it's already been refretted once, and the guy who did it didn't do a great job. But, I think if that one was properly fretted, it probably would be the best because it has the, probably the best neck, the 57 Goldie does. There is a guitar at, El at Elliot's place, Rumble Seat Music, that really got me. Uh, I would never buy it because it's not my style, but man, he's got a bunch of ES-175s, which I've never been that much of a fan of, but he's got this one. If any, any of you guys out there are into 175s, you've got to buy the 57 that he's got up there. He's got a, a 57 175 with those real early PAFs that look like the covers are painted green. You know the ones I'm talking about? The neck is to die for on it. It's got so much vibe. It's unbelievable. I think it's 15 grand or something like that he's asking. But you can beat him up a little bit. Ask for the Larry discount. Uh, but man, somebody should buy that guitar. It's such a killer. Really cool guitar. Uh, I don't know if you guys are into 175s out there, but that's a really special one. Uh, hell, what else, what else is that talking about? Uh, uh, well, enjoy the eclipse today, friends. Um, 
Um, I'm not sure what kind of show it's going to put on. I don't know how many hours it's going to eclipse for or minutes. I need to do a little research and check out the eclipse thing. Um, uh, I hope everybody's doing great. Uh, seriously, you know, I hope everybody's good. Uh, I appreciate all the sweet comments, all the nice things that y'all say. Y'all say things like, you can make a cardboard box sound good, Larry. You know, thanks a lot. I appreciate that. Um, but I couldn't. I couldn't make a cardboard box sound good. But you could. Keep practicing, folks. Um, keep working hard. There's a lot to learn, man. Um, no one ever masters the guitar. Never. You don't even get close. No one has ever mastered this instrument. All you can do is get pretty damn good. That's all you can do. And, all, and you can get enjoyment out of it. And you can make a living with it. And you can change lives with it. You really can. Um, I never used to believe that. I used to believe that that was bullshit. Musicians are just saying that to make themselves feel better. But you know what? As I've gotten older, I realize that music does change lives. Uh, I could be in the worst mood. And for some reason, the right song hits me at the right time. And I'm like, damn. That just turned my whole world around. It's like a shot of tequila. You know? Sometimes when you just need something. A song will give it to you. All right, friends. Peace out. Homeschooling forever. Let's go.